I've always loved these signs that I'd see on council estates. It says stop. <laughs> and they're done in almost like this slightly western font. <laughs> and it just, I don't know, they just seem to be from another era. So this idea that, that you know, this instruction um, m made many years ago is still going on. And then for, for the icon and plinth, I decided this, you know, perhaps I should make my own sign out of it. So it's been isolated, it just says stop, and it's up to you what that instruction is about. You know, whether it's stop smoking, stop the world to get off, <laughs> you know, stop war. You know, so I like this idea of it becoming now a new sign, um, a sign for, you know, for the uh, new century, as it were. Um, and it's an instruction. So I'm sure everybody has something in their life they want to stop doing <laughs> or something out in the world that they want to stop. So I quite like this idea that it's now disembodied, it's been taken away from the council estates of London and it's uh, evolved into something else. I've got a long relationship with the icon. Um, I had, I was in a group show there in 1983, one of the first shows I was ever in, and then I, with Antonia Payne, who's the former director, and then I was asked by her to do a one-person show, and that was when I did 30 Pieces of Silver, which is now in the Tate, with my steam leather silver plate. So I made that site specifically for a big warehouse space, which the icon was. So, you know, I needed one big piece that would fill the space, and so my steam leather silver plate was that piece. And then years later, uh, when Jonathan was the new director there, um, I, he asked me again if I'd like to do a one-person show many years after the first one, and I, I did a, you know, a, a, um, a sort, of, sort of like a mini retrospective, really. Um, and so, really, I just think that's a brilliant gallery, and it's hosted some of the first, you know, it gave me my chance to make my first big installation. And it's done that to a lot of artists, international artists as well. Um, so the first time they might have seen, been seen in Britain is at the Icon. So for, I think for a gallery that's not in London, it punches way above its weight and contributes to the, to the you know, life and soul of, of the second city, really.